Yeah, gig right now? I can be there, yeah, sure. Okay, thanks, bye. All right, I'm here in Toronto with uh, Brandon Seabrook, my side, side man extraordinaire, and Brandon, I've noticed, just showed up uh, like a pro with two instruments and one plastic bag. <laughs> What you got in there, Brandon? I got a chain. I got my shirt. Right. I've already hung my gig shirt up that was also in this plastic bag. Right. And here we have the Econo uh, Sideman kit. Right. What do you got? Mandolin case slash Sideman. Let's kit. see what you okay, got in here. Okay, here we have two right. pairs of socks. Right. Some deodorant. One pair of underwear. Some of my records. You'll need those, right? And uh, yeah, that's about it. Some picks and you know a mandolin. So and this you, is all you need. So when you see like a side guy show up, you know, when the bands show, all get up and they show up and they've got this big suitcase. Yeah, there's just no need. It's just, you know, you got to focus on the music. You're here for the music. You right. Know, you got to... So what was the first... One pair of underwear. What was the first thing you did when you walked in here? Well, you have to... Well, notice I have no toiletries because they're going to be supplied by the hotel. Right. But in this case, there's, there's only two bars of soap and one... You know, shampoo. So you That's kind of measly hospitality yeah, for Canada, which is kind of known for its hospitality. All you have to do is make a phone call down to the front desk. Well, let's do that. Okay. Oh, hi. I was wondering if it's possible to get some more toiletries in room... 1014. 1014? Yeah. Uh, we need a, a toothbrush and a few shampoos. Uh, yeah, and some toothpaste. Thanks a lot. Bye. That's, there you have it. Full toiletries. <laughs> we have finally uh, composed a sufficient uh, toiletry situation here with two toothbrushes, more shampoos, and some toothpaste. You know, that's much better. Well, we're oh, here. It's Canadian. Yeah, he's down in Toronto are about to pick up our laminates, <clears throat> the big passes. Um, we're going to be pretty much indie rock royalty at that point. Um, we'll let you know how it goes. I wonder if we're going to get any VIP perks. I think there'll be any like products or something like that. Maybe like a camera, some hair products. Oh, I need those, yeah. Maybe some breath mints. Sometimes come in these things. It's not like the Oscars where you get like a watch or, or you something. you get a bag at this. But you get like, you know, you get like some CDs that you'll probably throw away. Um, Perhaps a change of clothes. If you're lucky. Sometimes a mints, some breath mints, or like a CD opener, and some magazines that you'll never read. I think we're about to look at a lot of skinny pants here. This way, over here, artists. A lot of pressure being the big buzz band, thing like this. You know, you see your name on all the paper every time you go out. I feel like it's part of the con. I had to do it. I was threatened. <laughs> that is a beautiful thing right there. Oh, I get one too? Yeah. <laughs> oh, then it's oh, okay. What about me? Then it's okay. <laughs> no, I'll give him both to you. Well, we're at the elevator here, having some troubles at the Days in Toronto. Seems Brandon and I are both wearing brown jackets. Uh, brown apparently is the new denim for folk singers. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ, what the hell is going on here? Maybe we can't get to the. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hey, this way, come back here. For some reason, the elevators are like opening and closing. What the hell is going on here? <sighs> yeah, we're gonna make it to the gig. You think so? We've only got five hours. We got <laughs> stuck in that elevator. That would have been the end. I mean, that would have been it. probably both people who were there would have been pissed off. They'd come all the way in from Manitoba or wherever they came in. 
to see our big Toronto gig, the first Canadian Nels Andrews show ever. Alright, this is the North by Northeast goodie bag. And all, looking at it, let's kind of like go overhaul what we got here. Um, this is a big stack of trash. We've got the Manitoba Music Industry, an article on sexting, the latest school fad where you text naked or semi-naked pictures of yourself. This is pertinent to my career here. If I didn't have that, I don't know. I'm SMR, I think this one's good. This is a, like, this is a pitch on doing a more, you know, eco-friendly packaging for your next release. But it's something I'm just going to throw the hell out. I'm not going to even look at it. All this stuff. Trash. Trash. Ah, Poco Rabone. Cologne. I might use that tonight. Yeah? What I think, the hell? What do I have to lose? Yeah, I think, you know, that black excess. It looks like it's kind of the essence of rock there. We got four sets. Brandon's already picked out his. One, two, three sets of earphones. And then the C-Sack with a little string on the end. And then there was another one over there, so that makes five complete sets of earphones. Two pins. The guide, which we're not even here long enough to really look at. Uh, that looks kind of cool, that magazine. This is a British film festival magazine. This guide to Toronto. Folk Alliance. All right. Here's my peeps here. Folk Alliance International. It's supposed to be the Canadian wing. And then, of course... Kind of the prize, the crown jewel here, which is the uh, the Born to Folk Flight of the Concords. Hang up me and Brandon.